Ini of weeks ago one of the nurses there was feeding her and I have a good close relationship with a number of a number of people there so this nurse who likes to feed Lois and has a good bond with her there was a little downtime just a little because they're very busy they're usually feeding two people alternating between them she put her phone on and she spoke with me a few minutes and she said I have it on speaker do you want to say anything to Lois? And I started to speak and I asked her how she was doing. I told her some little, you know, small talk like that I had just spoken with our daughter. I told her how her cat was doing. And all of a sudden, the nurse said that Lois had this big smile on her face. I can't delude myself into thinking that I can do anything for Lois right now. I basically can't. I've been cut off. So I'm trying to... I mean, I'm about to say something a little bit contradictory. I'm trying to be a little self-sufficient where I'm not dependent on seeing her because I realize that that may be altered forever. As I indicated, I'm not a nostalgic type. It's more a matter of the breadth of the experience. And, and when you live with somebody a very long time, or you get to know, you're close with them, it's little things sometimes that matter much more than big things. So, you know, I don't think, oh, that wonderful meal we had in the restaurant. I think eating a hard boiled egg together, or having a cup of coffee together is just as meaningful. It's a matter of, being together and sharing experience. And the one thing that happens with separation like this is that there's absolutely no sharing. I would like to see them explore that zone where maybe there could be some contact or contact under very limited circumstances. Because I feel that the repercussions, not just for me, but for so many others, are gonna be really far reaching if this persists for months on end.